Want to learn Korean? Come visit TalkToMeInKorean.com to find the best Korean lessons for you. It's like their job mm -hmm. to be called oppa by millions <laughs> yes. of people. Yes. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo. Hi, I'm Cassie. And Cassie never calls me oppa. No, that would and be very strange for us, I feel like. Why would it be strange? I mean, I have plenty of female friends your age that mm -hmm. call me oppa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure why it would be strange. It's just our dynamic, I feel like. Yeah. So I'm not saying that I'm hurt or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not secretly crying inside. <laughs> but uh, it really depends on like how the relationship started. Right. So I got to know you through some meetups maybe yes. mm -hmm. and we started working together not long after we actually got to know each other right so you call me Hanu or 대표님 maybe yeah I used uh, to call you Hanu 선생님, Hanu 선생님 yes. because I was your online teacher yes from Talk to Me in Korean mm -hmm. she was a Talk to Me in Korean student yes <laughs> uh, not anymore now a Talk to Me in Korean teacher yes so if you uh, get to know somebody through work you never actually get to call that person oppa unless you hang out with them often and right. then you feel like you are connecting on a different level and then you're friends. Very friendly yeah. way. So yeah. a common question that we get from learners of the Korean language is uh, how much of an age gap mm -hmm. is okay right. for people to just ignore and call somebody oppa? Oppa, yes. So that's today's topic. Um, we're nine years apart. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so not that big of a difference. Yeah. <laughs> I, I it depends on who you ask, but... <laughs> so, so technically, you can call me oppa. That's right, yes. Yeah. So what if we were 13 years apart? 13 years apart? Yeah. I, I really, on this one, I feel like it just depends on the people themselves. Yeah. So it really depends on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> but uh, <laughs> among Koreans, among Korean kids. Yes. Okay, so among Korean kids, it's automatic so you're in school and somebody else is also in school yeah this is up until university mm -hmm. and whoever is uh, older than you and you are female and the other person is male you can automatically allow yourself to call that person oppa. right actually when i was um, teaching english i was teaching a little girl mm -hmm. and her mother wanted us to be kind of closer so mm -hmm. that she would absorb the language more mm -hmm. naturally mm -hmm. so we just kind of like played together mm -hmm. and things and um, obviously this isn't oppa but mm -hmm. for this one it was onni which mm -hmm. is the female uh, version yeah, yeah. of oppa and even though she was seven years old mm -hmm. and i was 26 there's mm -hmm. like a 20 almost a 20 year age gap yeah. she called me onni onni kind of she just have that close feeling yeah she is... could have called you emo too right safely mm -hmm. <laughs> yes definitely she, i think um it was her mom Mm -hmm. that had you had her call you Anni. Yes. It was mm -hmm. her uh, idea of having um, her feel more connected to you. Right. Like, let's give them some guidelines. 안녕하세요. 저는 김성찬이에요. 여기요. 제 명함이에요. If you want to study with real life conversations, check out the book Real Life Korean Conversations for Beginners. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Let's give them some guidelines. So, for example, the other person is 50 years old. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, it was a long time ago that that person was last called an oppa mm -hmm. by somebody outside of his family. Right. So, don't attempt to call that person oppa. Yes. Unless you're being funny. Mm -hmm. Or if the other person is like 40 mm -hmm. and you're 35. I feel like you could call that person yeah, yeah. So I think between 40 and 50 is the gray area. Right. Yeah. Because when you are 50, you're most likely somebody's dad or in that age group. Right. So, and uh, whoever you meet as a 50 year old uh, in Korea, 50 year old male in Korea, you get to meet people uh, for work. Right. And it's not like some hobby group or uh, some kind of community mm -hmm. that you make friends through although you can so right even even then like you you're 50 years old and you go to uh, a bowling club mm -hmm. um people some people do but people generally don't call you oppa 
I, I do feel like within those sorts of clubs, though, yeah. it's more common. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think because a lot can. of the people in those groups are more of the same age, mm -hmm. so they're all in their fifties or forties, yeah. fifties. Yeah, but the, the the tricky part is if that person is married and has a kid, mm -hmm. and he went there as like with his family, mm -hmm. and uh, especially with his wife. Yes. The other members, uh, female members who are younger than him, will probably to be safe only call them uh, so and so appa. Right. Like Juni yes. Appa or Yuri Appa. Mm -hmm. um, they won't call that person so and so Oppa all of a sudden in front of his wife. That's right, yeah. yeah it, can, so. it can make his wife feel very bad. Yeah, because the term Oppa is very endearing yes. and. Um, um, it, it indicates that the two people are very close. Very usually. close, and that can result in some jealousy yes. in many people. Mm -hmm. So if you're also 20 years old, in your 20s, and somebody is in, your in their 30s, it is safer. Mm -hmm. But um, also, don't make the mistake of calling someone so and so oppa without that person's consent. Yes. Or um, any knowledge of who you are. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So at first, it is always safer to start with so and so she. Yes. Or that person's official title, if you know of uh, what his title is. Mm -hmm. The one exception to this may be idols. When idols. you're referring to your favorite idol, you mm -hmm. can call them oppa. That's very yeah. common. It's like their job mm -hmm. to be called oppa by millions <laughs> yes. of people. Yes. Um, and also anni, if, if that's an, a female idol. Right. So I do actually get messages from some of you who, uh, I mean, most of you call me Hyunwoo mm Sansengim, -hmm. which I really, really highly appreciate. And some, some of you say Hyunwoo Si, which is also very, very respectful. Mm -hmm. But then, um, somebody that I don't know sending me a message calling uh, me Hyunwoo Oppa. I feel like, oh, do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Or if uh, also one emotion that I have is if this person is too young, I would just I don't know. Feel strange. I, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm yeah. Um, you know in my late thirties in the in, in interna international age and mm -hmm. um, a teenager calling me Oppa. I feel like I should be called Samchun. Right, right. Like, or Ajoshi. So, hey, I don't. I don't see you ever being called Ajoshi though. Ajoshi? Yeah. I am called Ajoshi. Well, like, technically you are Ajoshi, yeah. but, <laughs> but it just sounds strange for you. I mean, super. Thank you. That's a compliment. Right? <laughs> yes. Is it because I'm wearing all white today? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but young kids, um, five year olds or six year olds, mm -hmm. they just call me Ajoshi. Ajoshi, right? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, uh, I hope this gave you some ideas some clues as to mm -hmm. whether it is safe to call someone oppa. Mm -hmm. People who are generally older, don't call them oppa. Right. And if you're ever wondering, if you ever want to know if it's okay, just ask them, is it okay if I call you oppa? And if they feel uh, uncomfortable, they will say, please don't call me oppa. Yes. Uh, especially in front of other people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you are yeah, very, very close to that person, maybe that's, that's a nice term of endearment. Yes. Okay, so any other questions about Korean culture, please let us know. And if you would like us to give more specific examples, uh, also let us know in the comments. And yes. uh, we'll be back with another topic on Korean culture or learning Korean. Yes, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.